guys, welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and today we're taking a look at a god guide on Sir Ket. I wanted to walk you through her abilities right now briefly and talk about her passive, which is really how she does most of her damage, and I think one of the most under... Uh, under, <laughs> not understood aspects of her kit, let's put it that way. I was going to say under understood, <laughs> but uh, instead of doing that, I'd say lack of understanding is uh, is apparent here in her kit because most people don't understand. She's so squishy. How do I get around her? Well, this guide is supposed to help you with that. Her, her passive basically means that each ability Sir Ket does applies a poison, okay? Actually, the only one that doesn't is her jump. So that's just an escape and a pretty decent damaging jump as well in terms of how jumps go. I think 320 base damage, which is really strong for finishing off opponents who are running away, but it's also her main escape. Her number one, the zigzag movement. Her number two, the poison that turns people mad and has them attack each other or walk towards you. And her number four, the stun, which pushes people back 30 meters and applies uh, the big, big the poison. All a apply a stacking Very poison well. onto a target. And when you consume those poisons with a basic attack, whether it be two or three, you take a percentage of that god's health away with that basic attack as well as consuming those poisons. So, for instance, I use my number one and my number two on a target, and I have two poisons stacked on them. What will happen is then 10% of that target's maximum health will go away as physical damage once I hit them with a basic attack. Now, this is not something that happens right away. You have to hit that basic attack, which is the difficulty with Sir Ket. A lot of people will, if you weight or a cc or anything like that you won't be able to hit that basic attack and that makes for a very frustrating experience knowing that you would clearly kill this opponent if you weren't uh you know stunned by me or uh caught up in a uh, an aries pull or something like that so one of the keys with sir Ket is not being locked down that's really one of the most important aspects of playing this god and getting that damage off of course if you're able to land all three of her abilities that apply poison her number one her number two and her ultimate and you get a basic attack off, it should almost be a for sure kill because of the fact that you'll be taking 20% of the target's maximum health as damage off. So that's not just 20% of their health right now, it's of their maximum health. Zeus here hitting us with some incredible damage, that Zeus being super, super strong. The uh, Capri throwing out a stun there, and I do want to target the Zeus in this game, of course. Let's see if he's picked up any actives. Loki is the only one who has an active right now, and Aegis probably looking to avoid that Coco Khan ultimate. So as I said, guys, we'll talk about Sir Ket and help you know how to work her. The, the main thing I've learned with Sir Ket and my playing her is that you don't want to be the first person to attack. You really don't. Um, sometimes you can be aggressive because you can get out, but you never want to be the guy taking the brunt of the damage. Sir Ket is really squishy, and I also want to be careful here that I'm not locked down by Xing Chan's ultimate or something like that. It will be very, very difficult. Now, I could... Now, there we go. Oh. Oh my goodness. Get stunned out of the jump, and I uh, can't take it out. That's fantastic. Well, you know, this is, of course, I think how the game had to go to show you guys exactly what it looks like when Sir Ket gets locked down. I think that's the main component of this, because you have to understand that when you're playing a Sir Ket, getting locked down is death. You are such a powerful character, but it doesn't mean that you can go and be invincible. And I think that's what a lot of people think. They hear that she's OP, they hear that she's, you know, super, super strong, but then all of a sudden, they go and play her, and she just gets bursted down, stunned, and she's, like, dead. So people are like, what the heck? Why is that? I don't, I don't really understand. Woo! Go ahead, attack soul, punk. So as you can see, over uh, Rama's head, there is this poison here, right there. And it is slowly trickling down. Now, that is uh, a sign. It's not actually doing damage. It's just there. It's just letting me know that his poison is there, right? That the poison is there and on him. And that... Now, I didn't get the kill on that, but I definitely should have. Zing Chan is the one who's been knocking me out of my uh, of my jump. He's been knocking me up and down. So now that I am aware, that is what's been happening. And let me get my headphones on, guys. I haven't even been able to hear any of this. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Uh, I'm able to better, I think... Uh, coordinate myself around that. Um, one of the things, Sir Ket, you might want to do is grab beads or grab uh, Aegis. Something to really allow you to... Well, let's see if she stayed. Now I just used all my stuff on the Zing. On the Zeus. And uh, I used my escape as well. So I, I went extreme... Right back. The Loki is here. We went through him, but that just was not enough. And Xing Chan there focusing me. So 
Oh, Circus number one basically is a zigzag uh, damage ability. And what that does is if you hit people, you can hit them right here if they're right on top of you, or you can zag to get away. She's immune to knockup, which is very, very strong and very, very good. Um, however, with a Zing Chan focusing you, it does create some very difficult kind of situations. And I'm really glad I'm able to show this off because this is this is a very, very difficult situation for Sir Cat, right? With a, a, a physical damage god focusing her. And we do get the last breath. Now it's going to kill the Loki. We will get that kill. Uh, unfortunately, he ults me and uh, kills me as well. So we do get ourselves on the board there. Again, that combo coming out the two, the one, and then the ultimate. I wasn't able to get my basic attack, which would have finished him because he ulted right away. Um, and uh, and unfortunately, you know, I do get taken down as well. So I am one and two. But oh, and we catch the Rama. but we weren't able to have enough follow-up for that. And I'm telling my team to attack left lane. And I get both of them there. And I can see the Loki probably coming for me here. But we're going to jump out of that. And we do go ahead and get a kill from that. Just being aggressive. Just letting my team know exactly what my intentions were. In Arena, it's very important to have some type of team comp you know conversation whether it's just attack left lane va1 right just letting people know what you're doing otherwise they don't come and support you you're not able to get out of there like that it's just not something that you're able to do and function as and uh looks like the bakasura definitely going down there and uh the soul and the zing handling our back line so it looks like our team not not very organized here um so we have to find a way to get ourselves together in this uh in this arena here because it, it, it's unfortunate when you're going and attacking solo by yourself and uh you know of course being very very aggressive it's difficult if you're not on a on a uh on a voice chat which i, I actually know uh fearless one is uh, i was almost going to be on that now let's see if we can go ahead And you can see all the damage coming out. Oh! Really? Wow. The Zing Chan just making it so difficult for me. So, I don't know. This is a good game to show you guys because this is really how Sir Cat can get locked down. Um, one of the ways to get around this is to focus and buy beads, but it's also just to adjust gameplay. I mean, just to be a little bit more aware as well. Um, how Sir Cat is going. Her number one, like I said, is a dash. It can hit three times, and it can also critical hit, which is very, very important when you're looking at Sir Cat. And what does that look like? Like, how does how does that really work? Well, each dash can actually apply the same on hit effect of a critical hit um, as your basic dash, which is very, very strong. Very, 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 very strong. See, Zing Chan there focusing me immensely. Um, locking me down, and uh, that's that's really hurting this game. That's really really hurting this game. There we go. We go ahead and take that, take him out. As you can see, Zing Chan staying there, very very good. Wow. That hurts. That hurts. That hurt a lot. Yeah, the Zeus is Zeus is hurting us guys, so we gotta figure that out. Definitely have to figure that out right now. So we've got the Zeus. Definitely doing damage, and I'm starting to crit. We know Zing's ultimate is not up yet. Wow, Zing, what is Zing building? Jesus. It's really fine, I'm just going to avoid 
the zing here. And this is what you need to do as a circuit. You can feel sad, feel not good, being strong, but there's no way unless Zing has Blink, he's going to be able to catch me. And I might actually want to bait out his ultimate coming up right here. Um, just kind of grouping up, making it seem like a really nice... That should be a dead Rama. Give me that. Give me that, you m mother sucker. And Zeus, get out of here, bro. Let's see. Where's that Zing Tian ultimate, huh? Nowhere. Oh, now it's coming. Nope. Give me that. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get out of here. We bring this game back into line. We are now positive. And that is what you got to do, guys. That is what you got to do with Sir Cat. You cannot let people bully you around. Otherwise, you will get bullied. It's just a fact of the game. You have to learn to take the situations and, hey, I'm not doing well, right? Hey, this is, this is important. I'm not doing well. So how do I go ahead and adjust my gameplay? Um, I think one of the most important things I did there, not saying I'm a saint, not saying I did anything crazy. I just realized, listen, Xing Tian is, is focusing me a lot. I need to either bait his attack or wait till he attacks someone else and then go for the target that is not near him. That is what I think I need to do. Now, they're over there, right? Yeah, and he wants to move now because he knows the damage that I have. And I have my ultimate up, right? So, uh, looking at Sir Cat and, and the ideas behind it, it really is a, it's a positional game. It's an awareness game. You have to play Sir Cat. It's not the god that you can just pick up and, and just immediately say, yeah, I'm, I'm dominating. I'm dominating with, right? I feel like that Loki might have lagged there a little bit. People lagging, I can't really tell. Cool, Zeus. Cool. Really don't matter to me, dog. Just again, don't want to be on the Zing Tian. Gotcha. There we go. Go ahead, take him out. Go ahead, Capri. Go ahead, Capri. Go ahead, Cap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Not enough. Not enough. Almost. Cap, can we get a stun? Can we get a stun, baby? Booyi got the stun. We'll go ahead and get out of there. Sorry, Zing. And again, just staying away from Zing. I mean, my gameplay has increased so much. My freedom has increased so much just by saying I don't need to attack then. Part of being an assassin and being, you know, playing Sir Cat is knowing when to not go in just as much as knowing when to go in. Being aggressive is okay, but being aggressive in the right circumstances. For instance, you're bunkered down. You're, you're, you've got only one or two people, right? And uh, the army comes out with a fresh new load of machine guns uh, five feet away. And all you have to do when you run out in the corner is uh, get seen one second and you will die. That's not the time to be aggressive. However, once they take a break, once they go ahead... Alright, there we go. We secured that kill pretty much. Um, once you go ahead and realize that, hey, they're going to sleep, they can't stand out here forever, uh, let me put my guns down for a bit, then you go out and attack, because then you don't die immediately. And and here's my build for, for her, so we just talk about this a little bit. I like to basically, because I'm so worried about her getting shut down and getting basically taken out, I like to buy Magi's Blessing and Mail of Renewal on her, uh, because of the fact that if she gets locked down, she's pretty much useless. So everything that you can get to help you not get locked down, um, and of course, I'm not worried about this thing now, Get that extra two poisons consumed just to get that extra damage on him. Not sure if the Loki sees me or not. Not sure if he does. I think the Zeus and them are going somewhere else. But I think Zing sees me. Oh, that was a bad move. Get the pull. Thank you. That was a bad move by the Loki. Should have just ran away professional bait right there 
<laughs> on accident because I didn't want to kill him. <laughs> but, uh, but, but yeah, guys, so um, that's why I go for these two defensive items. You can kind of choose something else if you, if you think. I really like Magi's Blessing because it provides a bubble that basically acts like beads. So if you get hit with a strong CC, uh, you basically don't take it the first time. It's kind of like a redo. Like, oops, messed up. Yeah, you stunned me, but I don't have to take that stun. And now I'm more aware that I might get stunned in the future. Let me get out, right? Uh, Zeus should be dead there. We'll go ahead and finish him off. Get away from the Zane. It's a decent focus, but it's not enough because your team wasn't there, right? So that's the issue. We'll go ahead and drop back. Let's see what we can do here. Zing does not have his ultimate, I know that. And again, I don't want to necessarily be the first person here because I could definitely get taken out by some strong play. But the Capri Shield helping me gain a little bit of that health back and re re resist some of that damage that the Soul came out with the burst. Of course, Soul being nerfed a little bit uh, and, uh, you know, the burst not as strong uh, because her damage overall, her overall damage, not that, not as strong as well. Uh, I wonder if we can go ahead and uh, take care of these buffs. No, they're done. Just go ahead and help him finish that. Oh, nice pick by the Kepri there. Be right back. And uh, I think I'm going to be right back as well. Okay. And uh, we'll take, we'll get Magi's Blessing. Now, I may even buy beads after this because I feel like it's so important not to get locked down that you may, even before that last, uh, that last item, you might want to grab beads. Very nice, I think, Aegis, just to discourage any damage happening there uh, from the team. And of course, myself, I just want to stay away from the Zane. Now with my Magi's Blessing, I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. Oh, the Rama dodges the wrong way, in my opinion. And yes, definitely gets himself in a bad situation. Ult comes out, and that should do it for the Rama. Zeus ult comes out, and we're not even affected by that because we're able to get out. And uh, let's go ahead and grab some, uh, some beads here. One of our allies is gone. Let's see if the Loki becomes greedy. Let's see. Oh, he got too greedy. And let's get this zing. There we go. I'm, I'm going invisible here. No, no, nothing, nothing yet, nothing for me. Oh, wow. And that is the kill. There we go, guys. So, we're turning this around in such an amazing way. Um, let's start going with the information here because this game is still super close down to the wire. Cobra's Kiss, basically what you're seeing me use is um, her way to kind of crowd control someone. Okay. She throws these two blades out. You can you can hit two targets with them or you can hit the same target. And what happens is when you do that, it applies one of your stacks of poison, right? So the, the key combo is the two and then the one on top of them as they're running towards you. Um, it's considered madness, right? So what happens is you use that and uh, it does damage, does a decent clip of damage, um, but then it also sets you up for your number one. Let's get away from any big follow-up that might have happened there. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and finish him off there. Uh, Boxer picking up that kill, which I don't mind. A good teammate of mine, good friend. And uh, we'll go ahead into the combat link in case they get into some serious trouble. Um, and, and it's a really nice ability, really good crowd control. You could throw it on people, um, even if you're not going to follow up. It's just a nice little poke and a nice little like, hey, get scared, right? It can help also be like one of those really good target choosing things for your team. So once someone sees, once someone on your team sees that you've madness someone, they'll feel like, oh, okay, yeah, this, this is a good target to attack. Uh, oh, great pull by the Capri there. Let's see if we can capitalize on this. There we go. We do nine kills in a row. Oh my goodness here. And uh, let's get out because the Zing is definitely going to be focusing us. 
but as you can see that has not mattered since we've changed our gameplay now pretty soon we're only going to need one kill uh, her number three, the interesting thing about it is it roots you in place, but it makes you invisible when that root happens. So, one of the good things, one of the good aspects of that, Bogosuro looking like he's going, going, looking like he's going hard. We missed the Culpa Pond ult, which kind of sucks. The Loki here, I'm anticipating. Uh, no, didn't happen. So the Capri, very, very nice. Yes, we're gonna get her. And we're gonna finish the game. There we go, guys. That is how you do it. Uh, so, so cool. That ultimate that you just saw me use pushes people away and uh, is your third poison, including your number one and your number two. Uh, and it also is true damage. So that basically, that damage is happening despite their protections, despite any damage mitigation they have. That damage is going down on them. They're yelling timber because it's fallen, baby. And it basically means that a lot of times throughout a fight, if you get that, I think, 684 damage, uh, which is the max stack that it can max basically rank that it will do, um, that's like pretty heavy if you get someone at that point it also reduces their healing to 100 percent, so they cannot heal so basically if you have them and you hit that and they're below 684 health um it's a finisher it will kill them there's no there's no way for them to get that life back and it's basically just going to tick down unless i think they go back into base i'm still not sure if base uh health allows them to regenerate that that special thing when you're in your base um so that's one thing you will have to check out reddit and ask as for, I don't exactly know that one. But if you guys enjoyed this content, enjoyed this circuit guide, and enjoyed the interesting matchups and scenarios here that I think a lot of you will probably get yourself into where she's being focused and she's not able to do her her thing. Um, and then this video hopefully showing you a way out of it, a way to switch your mentality, your gameplay, and your ideas on how to attack a certain situation. That can often be the most important aspect to actually overcoming that obstacle. Not necessarily running through it but just looking hey let me look around it and see what else is there let me look oh wait you know what this is pretty flimsy if i just hit this switch it'll actually just fall down and i can walk right over it you know if i just get away from zing i can have a totally different gaming experience and as you can see i think i went 10 kills in a row there um and so that was pretty pretty cool for me to see and, and very very fun for you guys uh hopefully as well thanks so much for tuning in of course we've got a tier god guide coming up we've got a fin rear god guide coming up and uh i believe there's one more uh, oh yeah, soul. We're gonna be doing some soul stuff now that her her uh, her stuff is done. Um, so at the end of these videos, I'll be giving you what's coming next, so you guys can uh, make sure to watch all the way to the end because uh, that is a really important thing for me and the channel. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy this content. My name is Randy. As always, never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you next time.